If there's anything I've learned on my journey of personal growth and healing is that there's one thing above all else that trumps every single thing you can do on your healing journey to become the best version of yourself. What is that one thing? Let's talk about it. Welcome back, my friends. JT here. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend so far. It is beautiful and sunny out today, and I hope you guys are all enjoying the weather wherever you are. Even if it is cold, just know that winter is almost over. Spring is on the way, so stay optimistic, and good times are coming. If you're on a downtime and the roller coaster is at the bottom, well, we got a peak coming up, so don't worry about it. You will get through it. And so with this video, this is going to be all off the top of my head. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but something spoke to me yesterday and I just felt like I needed to get this, this type of video out there. And I'm so appreciative of all your comments. Um, I'm still going through all of them for the last video and I really, really appreciate your support. And uh, I'm grateful that it, you know, these videos are helping people out there to heal and become their most authentic self. And so with this personal growth video we're going to do, I used to do topics like what I'm about to talk about uh, before I did anything with narcissism. Um, way back when I used to do a lot of alchemization videos, a lot of manifestation videos, a lot of spiritual growth videos. So this is going to kind of incorporate all of those different aspects. And I really think it's, uh, it's the best thing that anyone on this planet can do to become the best version of themselves. And what is that exactly? It is celibacy, monk mode, semen retention. I'm pretty sure I can say semen retention on YouTube. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> um, those are the three. If you want the most personal growth in your life, more than, more than, I like, Cold ice baths, cold showers, uh, acupuncture, um, therapy, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, medications, literally every, every biohacking, uh, sound therapy, heat therapy, like anything, anything biohacking, anything personal growth, celibacy, monk mode, semen retention, all is by far going to be the best thing you can do to become your most authentic self and to be just unstoppable, unstoppable. We're in a world right now that's ruled by lust and sexual temptation. Everything is sexualized, everything. When you can break that, your inner power goes to a whole nother level. If, you're, if you wanna manifest, you're gonna be able to manifest 1,000 times faster and stronger if you're celibate on monk mode or doing semen retention. You wanna create a, a multi-million dollar business? Celibacy, monk mode, semen retention. You want your dream spouse? Celibacy, monk mode, semen retention. <laughs> Said that a lot of times. But I've been experimenting with this for two years now. And um, I started out doing like a month, a month of semen retention. Like I would not touch myself at all for, for a month. And then I worked up to three months and then four months. And right now I'm currently on going on six month streaks. And uh, the personal power you gain from these types of acts from not giving into sexual temptation, not giving into lust, creates such a strong willpower and determination for you to become your best self. Because what we know is everything in this universe is energy and they say sexual energy is the strongest energy in the universe. So if you hold on to your sexual energy, your essence, your vitality, your life force, then that energy is inside of you and you're not releasing it meaninglessly. When you look at corn or Instagram people and or you know lustful images and you release and give your vitality away you are giving your energy to things that have no return no return 
right? When we make investments in life, why, why do we make investments? To get a return. Why do we give out our vitality, our sexual energy with no return? You're just wasting it. So if you hold on to that, you hold on to that sexual energy and you cultivate it. Well, what happens? You're an atom bomb <laughs> filled with so much energy. And as we know, energy can't be con created or destroyed. You fill up with all that energy. What's going to happen? It's got to go somewhere, right? And if you're not giving it out meaninglessly to people and to things, you're going to be able to transmute that energy into the aspects of your life that need to be healed, that need to be worked on, that need to be improved. Every single time I've ever done it, every single time, my life gets 10 times better with everything. It's, it's absolutely incredible. And the way I kind of look at it is you're doing God's work. When you are being celibate or on monk mode or doing semen retention, you are gaining your spiritual gifts. My intuition, my clairvoyance, my cognitive abilities go through the roof. Every time I hold on and don't uh, release my sexual energy, my spiritual gifts, my spiritual journey is activated. And I've heard this from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, the same exact thing. If you want to become more confident, do the sexual healing. Give up lust. And as a man, like I, as I'm a man, so I can speak from the men's perspective, this is the hardest thing you will ever do. But same thing as doing a cold shower first thing in the morning. Most uncomfortable, most pain. But when you do those cold showers first thing in the morning, you're able to take on anything that life has to throw at you through the day. Because you just put yourself in the most uncomfortable situation first thing in the morning. Now, normal things that usually were uncomfortable don't phase you as much. It's the same thing with the celibacy monk mode semen retention is once you can learn to control your sexual energy and you can learn to walk through life and not objectify women or vice versa, a woman to a man, which is usually not the case, that, the opposite way around. But once you can look at everyone as human beings and you're cultivating all this energy inside you, you are able to just... You're like a walking, I don't even know, walking atom bomb of manifestation. Like you just have so much good energy inside you and you are going to attract everyone. Everyone. Every single time I've ever done this and I go past, usually it's about the three week mark, three, four week mark. I'll go to the grocery store and five to 10 people will just come up to me and say something about either my tattoos or you're in good shape or whatever it is, just guys and girls. And it's just because you're radiating energy. Think about it like, you know, when you go into a room, like people always say, oh yeah, they're really attractive. They're really good looking. Like look at that girl's body or look at that guy's face or look at their... When you walk into a room and there's a ton of people, what do you do? You feel out the room. You feel out the vibe. You feel out the energy. Energy speaks louder than words or body language ever could. So when you go into a room and you're vibing everyone out, there's just something you know. Like let's say there's 100 people in a room and one person, maybe two people, are on semen retention, celibacy, monk mode. They don't touch themselves at all. They don't fornicate whatsoever. When you walk into that room of 100 people, the energy for those two people versus everyone else is going to be way different. It's good. You're going to be attracted to that person's energy so much more because they're holding on to it. You know, they're cultivating it. They're transmuting it. And I've done much, much research on this. And there's a timeline, and I've done this in other videos, on the different benefits you can expect on the journey. And I really, truly believe that over everything else, you know, especially if you've gone through um, abusive relationships, narcissistic relationships, sociopathic relationships, you know, becoming celibate after is one thing, which, you know, I, I truly believe that that is one of the best things you can do. But then taking a step further and going monk mode where you're not looking at corn, you're not looking at any type of imagery, 
And then to take it another step forward, you're not releasing. You're not, uh, I don't know what words I can use on YouTube again. You're not uh, releasing that energy. That is like the highest form of self-love, self-mastery, spiritual growth. You know, if you want to become closer to God, whew, yeah, go, go on your semen retention celibacy monk mode journey. You will become the best version of yourself, you know, and people will know it. Again, like how many people in this world do this type, like less than 0.1, like no one does. We live in a, a world of lust and, you know, men are the weakest they've ever been in history, ever. Men are more in their feminine energy now and women are switching into their masculine energy. And the problem with this is the roles have been reversed. If we look back at the 1950s, it was flip-flopped. And now we're going into a time where evolutionary everything is changing. And so we don't go into a crazy debate on this. Like I could do so many videos on this topic. But, you know, uh, when women are in their feminine energy and a man is in his masculine energy, they go together, yin and yang, you know, equal parts of the spectrum. That's what we want. But when you have a man that's going into his feminine energy, he's giving out likes on Instagram, giving out validation to these women, giving them ego hits. The women are becoming more masculine and the men are becoming weaker. And that's every time you do that, you give your validation away for free, you become weaker. And the dynamic keeps getting shifted. The poles are changing. And if you get a masculine man, like, Let's just say, for example, um, I'm a masculine man and I want to find my dream person. That dream person for me is going to be a feminine energy. It's not going to be a masculine energy because masculine and masculine is going to clash. Why is the divorce rate so high? What is it, like 78%? There is no incentive to get married nowadays whatsoever. And again, that can be a whole other video topic. I can go into all kinds of stuff with that. But the problem is that men are so weak and looking at corn and, you know, giving out the validation to women and all these women are becoming boss bitches and boss babes and I can be independent. I don't need no man. I can make my money. Blah, 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 blah. We can go off on another video for that too another time. But my point is when you go on the celibacy, semen retention, monk mode, you take back your power. As, as a man, I'm speaking from a man's perspective, but as men listening to this, you need to take back your power and take in your masculinity don't be and we could go into beta versus alpha versus sigma there's all kinds of archetypes and and whatnot but just for the the topic of this video you need to harness your masculine energy a woman is going to want someone that is a masculine man you know a woman wants a someone she can feel safe with a caregiver a provider security and right now men just aren't doing that because they're just releasing all the time the, I forget the statistic, but the average man releases like one to three times a day. That's insane. Imagine, okay, imagine what your energy level is like if you release, let's just say one time a day. Now let's say you only release one time a week. What's the energy difference there going to be? You just 7x your energy. Now let's take it for a month, two months, three months. Do you see where I'm going with this? The longer you hold on to it, you are going to become like a walking, just amazing human being that has so much creative energy harnessed inside them that everyone is going to be drawn to you. Everyone will be attracted to you. Your confidence is going to go up. Your anxiety is going to go away. And not only your willpower, your determination is going to get stronger. You're going to have more fat loss. You're going to have more muscle growth. If we know that you're going to have more energy inside of yourself, you're going to push yourself harder at the gym, meaning you're going to burn more calories. You're going to be able to lift heavier weights. You're going to add more muscle. The <laughs> celibacy, monk mode, and seam retention are the best thing you can do to become your most authentic self, to become your highest powered self. If you're a female, to get back into your feminine energy. If you're a female and you've switched into your masculine energy because you've been hurt in the past by a lot of men, what a, there's a, def, a bunch of different scenarios that you could be in masculine energy from, but if you're in your masculine energy, doing this can help you switch back into your feminine energy 
And as a man, same thing, if you're in your feminine energy, this can help you switch into your masculine energy and help build the normal dynamic between men and women that used to be what we all wanted. And now it's, you know, all chaos and confusion. And uh, I'm sure this could be a very highly debated video, but um, I've done much, much research on this and I truly, truly believe it is the best thing you can do um, for every single aspect of your life, for your physical health, your mental health, for sexual health, for everything. You will become unstoppable. If whatever you want to do in life by doing celibacy, doing semen retention or monk mode, not touching yourself, you're going to be able to put all of that energy into all the things you want in life. And it becomes so easy. Every time I've done uh, semen retention, I don't take caffeine. I don't drink caffeine. I don't drink pre-workout. I don't need to because I have so much energy. It's like, it's almost like doing steroids. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Like you just have so much energy. I can't even imagine like taking caffeine while being on a month of not, you know, fornicating. My God, the energy levels are just like through the roof. I can work out twice a day. And I know this because a lot of clients and a lot of people I've coached that do the same thing, all get the same results, all fat loss, more muscle growth, more energy, more confidence, less anxiety. Uh, the sleep, it changes because once your body is, you, you've been used to releasing so often, it can be harder to sleep because a lot of people use it as an anxiety relief to release before bedtime as it helps them sleep. Um, so if your body is wired to that, the sleep can be a little funky for the first three weeks and then it kind of eases out and there's different points on, on the journey. I'll do more videos on this in the future, but this is just, uh, a quick video I wanted to get to you guys that if you haven't tried this, that I highly recommend it again. Like if you're trying to become your most authentic self, if you're trying to get closer to God, if you're trying to harness your spiritual gifts, if you want to be extremely intuitive, like extremely intuitive, psychic, don't release, you know, the vitality, the seed, God's seed. If you hold on to that, you are going to become extremely powerful and people will know it. People will know it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will do more videos on this. There's so much that goes into it. I was kind of like all over the place and I kind of cut myself off from going down different rabbit holes and topics because this video would be five hours long. But um, please comment on this. Let me know if you've done any of these techniques, if you've been on the semen retention celibacy monk mode journey for a long time, where you're at in your journey and how it's helped you. And uh, every time you guys comment, you know you're not only helping yourself out, but you're helping everyone else out because when people get to read these stories that everyone else has gone through, it makes us feel not alone and it makes us feel heard and knowing that we can also take the right steps in order to get to that dream goal of where we want to be in life. So again, guys, let's like and subscribe. Let's get this out to as many people as possible. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, if you're seeing this video, maybe this is your day one of starting your celibacy monk mode semen retention journey. And I promise you, you will not regret it. I promise you. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Enjoy the weekend. Stay safe. Go get a workout in. Eat healthy. I love all of you and take care. I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to